Asbestos monitoring. Asbestos is any of six naturally derived silicate minerals occurring in the form of long fibrous crystals. Because of its many unique and useful properties, including sound absorption, strength, and resistance to heat, fire, and electricity, it has been heavily employed in a wide range of insulation applications. The six types of asbestos fall into two groups, the serpentine group containing chrysotile or white asbestos, the amphibole group containing anthophyllite, gunnerite or amosite, which is brown asbestos, crocodilite or blue asbestos, tremolite and actinolite. Asbestos can be used for such diverse applications as pipe and or thermal insulation for heat and electricity, a range of building materials such as insulating board and tile asbestos cement materials, as well as automotive components. Unfortunately, asbestos has been found to cause serious and fatal conditions when its fibers become loose, airborne, and are inhaled. Illnesses linked to asbestos include lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis. In many countries, it is the number one occupational killer. Australia had the highest asbestos users in the world up until the mid-1980s, and the highest reported cases per capita of asbestos-related diseases. Up to a third of Australian homes contain asbestos. Regulation concerning asbestos use and transport can vary widely by country. International law has determined asbestos to be controlled waste under the Basel Convention on the Control of Transboundary Movements of Hazardous Wastes and Their Disposal, circa 1992. The U.S., EU, Australia, and Canada share limits of 0.1 fiber per cubic centimeter per 8-hour TWA and place bans or strict controls on import or export. In the U.S., regulatory testing methods are published by NIOSH, either 7400 or 7402, OSHA with method ID 160, and ASTM, including methods D1604 and D257. Because of its high incidence of asbestos-related illness, Australia has passed the Asbestos Safety and Eradication Agency Act of 2013, which was implemented by 2018. Conversely, Russia and China, the highest producers and exporters of asbestos globally, currently have no regulatory controls on asbestos. China has some goals in place to eventually phase out asbestos use, but Russia still has not declared similar intentions. Regulatory testing methods in the U.S. and Europe have similar requirements with some key differences. Both the OSHA and NIOSH official asbestos methods require a 25 mm diameter cassette along with an electrically conductive 50 mm extension cowl which contains a 0.45 to 1.2 micron MCE filter membrane. European methods, such as the French XPX 43269, require the use of a 37 mm electrically conductive 3 or 4 piece cassette. These methods also employ a 0.45 micron MCE membrane filter, as well as a polycarbonate filter for processing and analysis. In each of these methods, air is drawn through the MCE filter in order to collect airborne asbestos fibers on its surface. After sample processing, the collected materials are analyzed via either phase contrast microscopy, transmission electron microscopy, or analytical electron microscopy. This slide depicts many of the materials and some of the equipment necessary to sample for asbestos. Included is an air pump, as per the yellow arrow, and two examples of filter cassettes. MCE membranes are depicted on the top right and a TEM image of a polycarbonate membrane is shown on the bottom right. Microscopic analysis is demonstrated on the bottom left. In order to count asbestos fibers via microscopy, the particles must either be transferred to a polycarbonate filter, as per the French method XPX 43269, or the MCE membrane used for collection must be clarified or dissolved with a suitable solvent such as acetone, DMF, or glacial acetic acid. At this point, the filter can then be mounted and the particles quantified. In conclusion, the six types of asbestos have been employed in a wide variety of applications. Because asbestos is a very serious health hazard, it is subject to regulation in a growing number of countries. 
Samples are collected on MCE filters and analyzed via microscopy.